What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show a quick method that I've used in the past in order to add sinks to countertops inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what I wanted to do in this video is show you a quick, easy way in order to cut an opening for a sink in a countertop group. So right now what I have is I have a sync model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. So if you go to window, 3D warehouse, and you want to search for the sync, you can just go down and you can find the uh, Kohler K3325 sync. It's basically just the sync from the 3D warehouse from a manufacturer. But what I wanna do is I want to cut an opening for this sync in the countertop. And so I've gone ahead and I've placed this kind of centered on the cabinet right here, but I still need to cut this opening. And so what I have is I have a group in here for my sink, and I also have a group in here for my countertop. So, and you can see how I've got this kind of nested, so I'm gonna actually click into this. And so one way that you could do this if you really wanted to is you could kind of trace along the edge in here. Um, so you could come in here and manually trace out the sink and that would take forever. Like it would be a really time consuming thing. We don't necessarily want to do that. I mean, alternatively, if you didn't feel like really being super precise, you could just draw a rectangle across this face, kind of get it to align and then push pull it through and it would create the opening. But the problem is you've got these gaps in here, right? You really want this to kind of follow along with your sink. So I wouldn't recommend that. What I would do instead is I'm gonna click into my countertop group. You can see on my counter is basically just a rectangle that's been extruded with some thickness here. And what I wanna do is I wanna use the tool intersect with model in order to intersect this so that I can delete out just the space right here. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna triple click so that I have everything in my countertop group selected and I'm gonna right click on this and there's an option in here for intersect faces with model. And so when I click on that, and so when you do that, notice how now you have a face in here that's separate from the rest of your counter, right? So what this did is this went in and this intersected your counter with your sink in your model. So now I can just click on this and I may double click so I pick up the edges as well. I'm just gonna hit the delete key. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have several different faces in here because this intersects with this in multiple different places. But all you have to do is just go in here and delete out that geometry just like this. And like I said, you may have a couple different layers, but you can see how when, you, when you're when you done deleting out that geometry, what you've done is you've removed everything that was intersected with the inside of the sink. So this is a fast, easy way to add an opening for a sink inside of your model. I will note, be a little bit careful with this um, because if we were to hide our sink, so if we were to look at this and hide our sink, you might have removed your bottom face down below. So you might have to do a little bit of fixing depending on what you're trying to show in here. Um, generally for me, I don't really turn my sinks off very much. So I usually leave my sinks on so it doesn't really matter, but just be aware that you may need to be a little bit more careful when you do this in the way that you delete out some of this geometry. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you used this method before? Do you like it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.